Next, we're going to take a look at a couple basic examples of federal income tax computation for the year 2021. Um, now, these numbers change every year, um, so you know, just keep that in mind. And what you're filing this year for you know the other day, April 15th, would be with the 2020 numbers because it was filed for the year 2020. So these are the numbers that would be used for filing April 15th by April 15th, 2022 for your 2021 tax year. Um, so right here we have a chart with taxable income br brackets and rates at which that money is taxed. So these brackets divide your income into pieces and each piece is taxed at a certain rate. So right here, um, I put the word first there um, and we'll see why in a couple in these examples, but for dollars zero through 9950 that you earn, you pay 10% federal income tax. For dollars 9951 through 4525 that you earn, those dollars are taxed at 12%. So if you earn $35,000, the first 9950 of that is taxed at 10%, and then whatever's above 9950 is taxed at 12%. So if you earn $35,000, this doesn't mean it's all taxed at 12%. The first 9950 taxed at 10, the next, you know, 25 $25,050 taxed at uh, 12%. And this uh, keeps going 40 1,526 through 86, 375, 22%, uh, and so on. These are um, available you know, all over the place online for the year 2021. Um, you know, the last bracket, everything you earn over 53, or over 523, 600 is taxed at 37%. Uh, um, and on any test or anything, you're going to be given these numbers, and I don't expect you to memorize those. Um, one other thing to keep in mind is something called the standard deduction. So if you're a person who files single in the year 2021, for your federal income tax purposes, you get to use what's known as the standard deduction. In 2021, for a single person, well, for a person filing single, the standard deduction is $12,550. And what that means is that whatever your income is, you can reduce that by $12,550 automatically. Um, which is why we call this taxable income bracket rather than income bracket, because your taxable income isn't always, well, isn't going to be equal to your income. If you make $35,000, one deduction you could do is this $12,550. And then your taxable income would then be, what, $22,450. Um, so let's uh, keep that in mind um, and compute 2021 federal income tax for a person with income $50,000, $150,000, a million, using the standard deduction. Um, so part A. First thing to do is to figure out the taxable income. Now, there are other deductions, you know, I, I don't really, I am by no means a tax expert. Um, this is pretty much the extent of my tax knowledge. Um, so there are other deductions that you, you know, may be able to use. Um, but here we'll just use the standard deduction. And this type of thing actually covers the vast majority of people. Um, you know, just stopping it at the standard de de deduction. Um, find the taxable income. Well, we take our 50000 and we reduce that by 12550 And what do we get? $37,450 taxable income. And this is the number we're going to use to figure out the tax. Now, notice that puts you um, here. So that doesn't mean your tax is 12% of that number. What it means is that the first 99.50 get taxed at 10%. The next 
26,455, sorry, 27,455 gets taxed at 12%. So tax, federal income tax, is what? Well, let's uh, list it out by bracket. 9950 times 10%. Plus, what's above 9950? So 37,450 minus 9950, and that's taxed at 12%. And what are our numbers? This equals 995 plus uh, 3300, which equals $4,295. So the first 99.50 is taxed at 10%, and uh, in this case, the remaining income is taxed at 12%. Let's do it for 150,000. I'm gonna, I think I'll be able to fit this on this board. Part B. Uh, I'm actually probably not going to fit it on this board, so I'm going to fit it across these two boards. Now, my tax knowledge is very little, um, but it is a little more than it could be. Um, my mom has worked at H&R Block for like 10 years now. Um, and I did check with her that these numbers are all correct for the next year. Uh, so this, this is not in the textbook. This is you know, just something else that we could do. Um, and something people should know how taxes work, at least in a basic sense. Um, so part B was 150000 We need the taxable income, 150000 minus the standard deduction. And that's 137,450. So with 137,450, some of the income is going to be taxed at 10%, some at 12%, some at 22%, some at 24. So let's figure that out. Tax is the first 99.50 at 10%. The next 40. The next 40,525 minus 9950 is taxed at 12 percent. The next 86,375 minus 40,525 is taxed at 22 percent. The next we only go up to 137,450, so we stop there. 137,450 minus 86,375. That's all taxed at 24%. And what does this equal? Well, it equals 995 plus, where did I list these numbers? 3669 plus 10. 1087 plus uh, 12,258, and that equals $27,009. So it does follow the same thing as the first one, the same process as the first, but we have to go you know, across four brackets instead of just across the first two. Now, what about part C? Well, part C says a million. Uh, I'm going to take advantage of what I wrote for part D, or part D, part B, because I am lazy. A million. First, we want to find the taxable income. A million minus twelve five fifty gives us what nine 
eight, seven, four, fifty. So notice this does put you in the last bracket. So some of your tax, some of your income is going to be taxed at each uh, of those seven rates. But the first ninety-nine fifty is still at ten percent. The next forty-five twenty-five minus ninety-nine fifty is at twelve percent. The next eighty-six three seventy-five minus forty-five twenty-five is at 22%, uh, but then we have to keep going until we get to 987450. So the next 164, 925 is taxed at 24%. The next 209,425 minus 164925 is taxed at what? 32%. We need to get up to 987,450. We're not there yet. We're only at 209. Uh, the next 523,600 minus 29,425. 29, I missed a number. 209. 523600 minus 209 for 25 is tax at 35%. And the final, you know, 400 whatever odd thousand is taxed at 37%. So 987 for 50 minus 523600 is taxed at 37%. And what does this equal? Well, it equals 995 plus 3669 plus, I forget the next number. Uh, let's see, I wrote them out. Plus 1087. You don't have to write you know, all these next things out. Um, you could just write equals the final number. Plus 18852. Plus fourteen two forty plus a hundred nine thousand nine sixty one and a quarter cent a quarter cent a quarter dollar plus a one seventy one which is not that number one seventy one six twenty four and fifty cents and that all equals $329,428 and another three quarters of a dollar. Now, so we will stop our income tax understanding at the standard deduction, but that does, you know, that, that should cover you know, most of you, you know, at least for the next couple of years. Um, Notice with the standard deduction, if you earn $12,550 exactly, then you can deduct that to zero and pay a zero federal income tax. Um, so do try this, uh, these types of examples. You know, the, the, they will look a lot like this, um, you know, especially for larger numbers.